Hello and welcome back to some more Premier League score predictions for the 2021-22 season. We are up to match day 15 and as always there are some very um, interesting matchups and probably some more hard predictions to be made but I'm going to give it um, my best as always. And really, having a look at the top of the table now, it's getting rather interesting. Chelsea, Man City and Liverpool, one point in it between each team, between uh, first and third place. Um, no one really likes a season where one team runs away with it, unless you're the fan of that team. But it's going to be a very interesting week, and it could be a week that determines, really, the, there could be a switch around here. Someone could go to first place other than Chelsea. But we'll have to wait and see because their game is the first up. Uh, and it is West Ham against Chelsea. Um, the 12.30 kickoff uh, on Saturday. And, well, Chelsea picking up the, the narrow victory away from home last time out against Watford in that 2-1 away victory. Um, West Ham did uh, draw 1-1 against Brighton in their last game as well. And... Obviously, uh, with Chelsea facing Watford, the Watford fan uh, that did fall, um, fall ill uh, of, of uh, cardiac arrest uh, went to hospital just 10 minutes into their game um, last night. So, hopefully, um, he's he's all right now and he, he makes a full recovery and can go back to supporting Watford uh, very soon. But with this game at the London Stadium, West Ham... West Ham, they're up there. They are up there in fourth place. They're, they're quite a few points behind first place and seeing that they are facing first place, um, they they will need to pick up a result if they want to stay in that in, in that top in that top four Champions League spot really. And if if they want to have a, a chance of even winning the title maybe. But you know, I'm gonna go for a, for a surprise result here, I'm thinking maybe quite a few people will be backing Chelsea in this game. I'm going to say... Chelsea have been a bit shaky lately. They did get the 2-1 victory against Watford. They did draw 1-1 to Man United. Beat Leicester 3-0. They drew with Burnley 1-1. They certainly are showing their quality, beating Newcastle 3-0 and Norwich 7-0. But I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw in this game. Um, I, I, and I, th I think it'll be a very good game. Okay, next up it is Newcastle, who has still not managed to pick up a win 14 games into the season. They are against Burnley, which have only managed to pick up the one win. Well, well, well. Am I going to say Newcastle is going to pick up their first victory of the season? Maybe. I'm going to go for another draw in this one, though. 1-1. One, one. I can't really see either team winning this. I can't really see either team losing this. Um, just really two teams that pick up loads of draws facing each other. So there's really only one outcome um, in this game and that is another draw. Coming up to another boring game really, um, Southampton against Brighton. Brighton, they can't stop picking up draws. Brighton, drawing against West Ham, which a really good side, a 1-1 draw. And Brighton, they're up in seventh place. They're they're up there. And last season, they were down in the relegation zone. They're, they're up, up, up. And it's just really surprising that the only results that they're picking up are draws. They're against Southampton, who did draw against Leicester 2-2. Um, um, what were the two defeats prior to that? They did lose to Liverpool for... No, which was kind of expected. I did predict that one right. And then the loss to Norwich City was a bit of a surprise. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go for another draw in this one. 1-1. One, one. Got really a, a South Coast derby, this one. Southampton and Brighton. I think it'll be boring. Another draw. OK, Wolverhampton Wanderers against Liverpool. My last three predictions have been draws. I don't think there's going to be any draws in this game I'm going to be only backing the one team in this one and that is the away side Liverpool 
beating Everton 4-1, beating Southampton 4-0. What was their other victory? 4-0 Arsenal. They're on some very good run of form, scoring four goals in every game, if I'm not mistaken, in their last three. I don't think they'll score four against Wolves. Wolves, they're a very tough side, really, to break down. Um, I know a few teams put quite a few past them, but 0-0 with Burnley, 0-0 with Norwich, beat West Ham 1-0. They did lose to Crystal Palace 2-0, but they're not conceding that many goals. Um, they're not scoring that many, though, either. And no matter, like, all the chances, they had about 20 chances in that Burnley game. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't put one away. So, I, I don't think Wolves will be able to put one against Liverpool. Their defence with, really, their, their back line, Alisson, uh, Van Dijk, Matip, or Canate, whoever goes in there, or Joe Gomez with Trent Alexander-Arnold and, and Robertson. And then moving on to the midfield with Fabinho and Henderson, who... Fabinho, uh, not Fabinho, Henderson, as well as his defensive midfield role, he's scoring quite a few now as well for Liverpool this season. Got one against Everton. Um, and uh, yeah, he's, he's just, as, as well as Liverpool, he's scoring goals for England now. He's uh, scored his first goal for England in the Euros and then got one in a World Cup qualifier. He's scored two for England now this year um, after failing to, to score for them for seven years prior to this year. Um, so... Yeah, Henderson definitely picking up some form lately. I don't think I don't think Wolves will concede more than two. Although Diego Yotta, Mohamed Salah, they're on some really good form as well. I'm gonna go three 0 Liverpool, which is probably quite a, a, a bit of a thrashing there for Wolves. But the quality that Liverpool have, I'm gonna say three 0 Okay. On to Vicarage Road now, where we've got Watford against Man City. They've not had uh, a, a good uh, run of games at all, really. Um, it, the the uh, They played Chelsea in their last game, which was a narrow 2-1. But now they're play, playing Man City, facing the top two, two weeks in a row. They conceded four to Leicester, and even though they put five and past Everton and four past Man United. They're really not the best of sides. Um, they are, are their only two victories in their past seven games. All the others are losses. And fully expect Man City to to, to beat Watford in this game. As I did for the, um, the, the Liverpool game uh, against Wolves, I'm going to go for a complete repeat of the scoreline. And I'm going to say 3-0 to Man City. Um... The, they're going to get outclassed here, Watford, and Man City's not going to be uh, taking any prisoners and they'll be ruthless in this game and, 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 and put three past them. OK, Leeds United, who finally they got a win, even though they did get one here. They've, they've still got the odd wins, but Leeds, considering last season they were up in like 10th place in like this relegation zone area, not the best for them, but they did get the 1-0 against Crystal Palace. Brentford... Um, are playing today against Tottenham. Um, so, I don't know what that result is because I'm filming at 12 and they're kicking off at like half seven. Um, so, their last game was the 1-0 victory against Everton where Everton are not the best at all. I think Brentford will lose this one after maybe picking up a bit of form. I think they'll go back to a losing streak maybe. And I think Leeds are finding some form here. I think it'll be another tight game. And I'm going to... Oh, am I going to go 1-0? I'm going to change that to 2-0 because Brentford's defence is very dodgy at times. So I'm going to change that to 2-0. Next up is Manchester United against Crystal Palace. Man United could have their new manager in charge of this. Not as a manager, as an interim manager. Um, Ragnick um, from, uh, from Leipzig. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how he does. Probably better than Ole. Um, but I don't know. I, I would like to see Man United absolutely thrash aside at Old Trafford again. Can't remember the last time that happened. Probably last season against Leeds United or the start of the season against Leeds United. I think they like scored four, scored six last season against Leeds. But their, their form has been absolutely terrible so far. Um, and Man United, they are playing tonight against Arsenal. So I don't know the result for that. But their last result 
uh, was the 1-1 draw with Chelsea where things looking up maybe a little bit. Um, obviously, the new manager, Michael Carrick, is undefeated in his first two games of charge. Not Michael Carrick isn't even the manager. He's interim as well. But uh, I, I think it'll be a tight game. Crystal Palace, they're really going on a bit of a poor run of form lately after some very impressive results. Two defeats in their last two games with the 1-0 against uh, loss against Leeds and the 2-1 defeat to Aston Villa. Yeah, um, I'm going to go 2-0 Man United in this game. Okay, next up is Tottenham against Norwich, where um, Tottenham obviously playing Brentford tonight as well. Um, Norwich City since Dean Smith's come in, he's uh, he, he's got some some good results for them, uh, a win and two draws. <sighs> Tottenham should win this one. It's whether or not there'll be like a surprise result. Um, at the end of it, Conte's side I have to see what they do against Brentford today. But it was the narrow two-one victory against Leeds United last time. Tottenham didn't really look the greatest that uh, in, in that game. They, they came out in the second half and got the job done, got two goals and, and beat Leeds two-one. But that first half was terrible, and Norwich City should be beaten in this game. But obviously, new manager. Uh, beat Southampton 2-1, nil nil with Wolves and 1-1 with Newcastle. Norwich were all over Newcastle in that game. Probably should have picked up a 2-1 victory at St. James's Park there. Tottenham, I'm going to go for a narrow 1-0 victory. Tottenham really should smash Norwich here like 7-0 like Chelsea did. And out of all the score lines, I could go 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, 4-0, or right up to 7-0. I think it'll be a very close game. And maybe even Norwich spoiling the party and, and picking up a point in this game. Maybe even all three points. Uh, but obviously, as I said, Tottenham with their side should uh, be able to get the job done against Norwich. OK, last two games. Aston Villa against Leicester City. Uh, Villa's first defeat under Steven Gerrard losing to Man City very narrowly 2-1 um, prior to that two wins it's very hard to score against Aston Villa um, even Man City struggled a little bit they only managed the two goals as I predicted as well that I said they'd only managed to pick up two goals but I do think Villa may concede a goal Leicester City drawing 2-2 with Southampton uh, last game and um also, the um, p picking up the 4-2 victory against, who was that again? Watford. Um, so Leicester, I'm going to say they're going to get a goal. Aston Villa, I'm going to say a Villa 2-1 victory in this game. Um, yeah, I, I was going to go for a draw in this game, but I think... Steven Gerrard's tactics that he's, he's set this, his, his team up to do. Don't concede goals, that's number one. But then controlling that midfield, get the, just really, I, I, I fancy Villa in this one. Two goals in their, in their last, like, victories. They have been very narrow victories. I'm going to go for another narrow victory here. But they were very impressive against Man City. And really, Leicester City, they are scoring quite a few. They're conceding quite a few also. Mm. And that's why I'm going to just edge Aston Villa in this game. Everton continuing a very terrible streak here. Rafa Benitez is going to be gone soon. Uh, and Arsenal facing Man United tonight, as I mentioned in the Man United game. So I don't know what the result for the United-Arsenal game is. No matter what that result is, I'm still going to back Arsenal to get a win in this game. And... Well, Everton got a goal against Liverpool. I said they would, but it was it was a it was a Merseyside derby, and there's always going to be one chance, and they just took it in this case. But Everton not scoring. Are they going to score against Arsenal? No, don't think so. 
how many are Arsenal going to get? That's the question. I think it'll be a very comfortable 2-0 victory um, for the Gunners in this game. So that is going to finish my match day 15 predictions. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for more. And I will see you all next time. Bye.